there have been so many things in history that black people have done, even small things, um, that we still don't know about. And, and it's important to educate people. And it also gives um, the younger generations of black people a chance to go, oh, well they did that and they made this difference, so why can't I? And it kind of gives them the hope and the, um, the drive to go out and create more history. Black History Month is just our time, black people's time, to showcase that and to remember that we can be proud of who we are and what we're capable of doing. The things we have today wouldn't be here without black people, so it, it's just, it matters because we are important and it just means a lot. Black History Month matters because we're not taught about our history in school and the textbooks that they provide us don't really tell us about who we are as people. They just give us the information about what the white man discovered and what the white man did and a lot of it is actually not true. So we need Black History Month to learn stories like those of Latasha. I didn't even know that story the other day. The girl in 1991 who was murdered by a store clerk who thought she was stealing. Black History Month is essential for things like that because without that we'll never really know what we came from and what we still have to endure. It matters to me because it signifies everything my ancestors have gone through and everything black people have accomplished in today's world. Uh, black History Month still matters um, to me because we need to know our history. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think that we are deserving of just a month. Uh, really, I think we should get the whole year. Um, but I would say it matters because um, if you don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going. Um, that's something that my grandma would say. And uh, we need to know our history in order to move forward. Uh, we need to know where we came from so we can know where we're going, where we're going in the future. Um, yeah, that's why it matters. Art in general is a form of expression, and that the fact that every single person who has ever lived not, is not only a story themselves, but they have a story to tell, is, is amazing because stories create the future. They tell the past, they change the present, and they build, they build worlds. I feel that black representation in the arts slash theater is very important because Nowadays, like when I was younger, I've never really seen a black cast before, like an all black cast. So I had like no one to like model myself after. I think in order to change it, you should be it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, specifically in my role in A Risen in the Sun, I played a character named Joseph Asagai. Um, he's an African character. He comes in and the family is uh, mid, you know, they're in the 50s. Uh, you know, pre-civil rights era, they're about to go into that, and uh, he's just, you know, spitting facts. He's talking about, you know, black representation, he's talking about, um, you know, longevity in the black neighborhood, um, and I, th I think it's important for black people in specific um, to go after those roles and to fulfill those shoes so that other actors can see that and look forward, you know, to something like that, um, you know. So be the change that you want to see is basically what I'm trying to say. It, it's important. It just is that we feel represented and that we feel just as, as our stories need to be told just as much as these other stories do. And, and that's important that these stories get told because they're good. Representation matters because without being able to present ourselves as who we are on stage, we think that we're not welcome. And it gets tiring playing people that are the opposite of you all the time, or having to feel like you dim yourself down or change your demeanor in a certain way so that you come across as something else. Um, representation matters because people will never join the arts or anything if they don't feel like they can relate. Like the reason that Black Panther was such a big deal was because little kids had never seen a superhero that looked like them. Little black boys, there was never a superhero that looked like them. So it's the same thing goes with theater or music or anything else. You need to see people that look like you, that are like you, to feel comfortable enough to pursue it. 
people can see like, hey, that person looks like me and they're doing things that make a difference. So I, there's nothing stopping me from also being able to make that difference. It does something psychological to kids uh, mainly um, that want to grow up and be an actor or be um, a playwright or be somebody that makes a difference. Uh, they want to see their skin tone, their skin color um, on the big screen. I think that's important all across the board, um, especially in theater. Like when I was in high school, like I always felt a little bit discouraged because we would do shows. I, I'm from um, a predominantly like white area and we would do shows where I'd be like, I want that part, but on Broadway, that girl doesn't look like me, so I can't play that girl. But we see people like um, like Lynn Manuel Miranda doing cast of just completely African American ethnic people, and and seeing that encourages people to go, hey, if they can do it and they found where they fit in and they made, then someone made a place for them to fit in, then then I'm gonna make a place for myself to fit in, especially in the arts. It's important that people of all groups, races, colors, jobs have a chance to tell their story instead of having others tell it for them because we are the narrators of our own story. I intend to break specifically a lot of, of stereotypes and expectations in categories that people are put in, different types of people are put in. For example, I'm black, obviously, but I've never been very good at basketball, and that's another stereotype that's been perpetuated throughout time and media and TV in general, but why can't we have a story about a kid who's not, black kid who's not great at basketball? Um, one thing I want to make sure to do or avoid uh, is I never want to play a role that's typecasted like the loud ghetto girl or like the token black girl I never want to play that and I think that'll do a lot for helping representation and showing that you know we are versatile people and we are just as talented um, I also want to be myself put a little bit of myself in all of my characters I think that's essential to acting no matter what race you are but especially for black people because for me, it's really hard to play weak because black people are not that. So I always try to give a little bit of my sass and a little bit of my strength, no matter how soft the character is, because I feel like it adds a flair that is missing a lot of times. And I do think that that has a lot to do with who I am.